Do you know why some pizza dough recipes call for sugar? I don't, I think it's totally useless. Joking aside, in my opinion, there are three main reasons why you could want to use some sugar into your pizza dough, and I will highlight them in this video together with the reason why I don't use sugar at all. I will also make two doubles and I will add some sugar only in one of them to see the differences. Let me start by defining sugar in the context of this video. I will refer to simple table sugar, white sugar. I won't consider all the different commercial names we see on the shelves for simplicity. I know there are quite a few different products, but it doesn't really matter for us because all of them are none other than sucrose, maybe in a slightly different shape. Now, there is this common opinion. Many people say that adding sugar to pizza dough, or any dough for that matter, speeds up the rising process, and they are actually right. I think that this is generally accepted. Many of us tried it at home, and I'm sure that there are many videos on YouTube that prove it. However, some other people say that adding sugar slows down the rising process. I think that they are frowned upon somehow, but guess what? They are right as well. Actually, I want to focus on those people and prove that they definitely have a point. The reason why these two groups of people can be both right is because the amount of sugar really makes the difference. The problem is that they don't usually mention it, maybe they just didn't figure it out, and in general I see that there is not too much information about this topic. Now I will try to fill this gap, so keep watching. And speaking of watching, 94% of people who watch these videos are not subscribers, so if you are one of those, please help him grow, subscribe to the channel now, it's free. Sugar is yeast's favorite food. Uh -huh. Yeast breaks down sucrose to its basic components, glucose and fructose, so it can start eating and do its thing, that is producing all that carbon dioxide that helps our dough become nice and puffy. It's easy to see here why those people say that we should add sugar. The logic behind it is simple, we just want to feed the yeast straight away. The problem is that sugar is hygroscopic, it has a great affinity with water, and looks for it everywhere. But we have to consider that yeast contains water inside its cells. You understand that this relationship between sugar and yeast has some drawbacks, so to speak, and I'm quite sure that this sounds familiar to you, only that you probably link this issue with salt rather than sugar. Oh, by the way, I have already debunked the myth that mixing salt and yeast together always blocks the dough rise, and I got a video about this. Now back to the amount of sugar that is relevant. Let's say that our threshold is around 5%. You know that when I give percentages, you do the calculation based on the amount of flour. Please do not consider this number strict. It's a reference, although fairly reliable. So once we define this level, let's say that if you add up to 5% sugar, your dough will rise and ferment increasingly faster. But above this level, everything starts to slow down because sugar is hygroscopic, like I said, this is the first conclusion of this video, but now it's time for me to show you stuff. Let me make some dough with and without sugar. Okay, let's make some dough. Please note, this is not a recipe video. The purpose is to show the effect of sugar in the dough. By the way, I'm making my two hour dough. If you really want to know the doses and everything, there's a video in the upper right corner. Water, yeast as usual flour, salt, and sugar only in one, Oh, 
So it looks like if we cross the threshold, then our pizza dough slows down its rise. If speeding things up is what you're looking for, then you must stay within the 5% level. Now let's see the second effect you might be looking for when you add sugar. That is the taste of the baked pizza. Some people like to perceive a sweet note. Of course, this is personal. Each of us has a different perception. I personally can clearly taste some sweetness, at least a 6% sugar. If sweetness is what you're looking for, then do a couple of experiments to find your sweet spot. And again, factoring the slowing down of the rice, you need to add more yeast in this case. The third effect of sugar you might be interested in is the color of your crust. Sugar will increase the so-called browning, so you can expect a darker color. And uh, let me show it to you, let's bake those doubles. Now the crust browns because of the way sugars react to heat. Together with proteins, they make happen the famous Maillard reaction. That's the same process that happens to your steak when you grill it. When the baking temperatures continues to go up, then the, car the, car the caramelization of sugars happens. I think it's time to give me a thumbs up for encouragement. The, the more sugars in the dough at the time of baking, the darker the color of your crust. A quick mention of a, an alternative to white sugar, that is honey. I was asked quite a few times about it. Some people attribute to honey. I don't know what miracle feature, but to be honest, I don't know why, because 80% of honey is glucose and fructose in different proportions. And remember what I said, they are the basic components of sucrose. Then there is another 17% that is water. I mean, honey seems to be just water and sugar, although I appreciate that maybe it can add something to the flavor profile, of course, but it's always a question of amounts. Finally, why I don't use sugar at all, nor honey, in my pizza, the one I talk about in this channel, the one you see on my social media. Do you remember what happens when yeast wants to eat sugar? Do you remember that breaking down process? Well, yeast can do it with sugars more complex than sucrose. And guess what complex sugar we have in great abundance in our pizza dough? Starch, the basic component of flour. So do you think that we really need to add sugar to sugar? <laughs>